Here we are, Copper Gate Market. The Alex Trade Depot. This must be where the merchants' wares are being kept. Sounds like it. Who's this guy? Here are vigilant. You're gonna have to speak to him. The Dark Master. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yarping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. There must be another way in. What? Okay. Let's uh, find that other way in. I think this will be a big help. Here we are. The depot is well guarded by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these darks. I think I might have been here before. <laughs> it seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the Council. Ooh. They're hiding something. They must be hiding something. Yeah, I've been here before. I collected some treasure here earlier. Never mind. I remember you. You helped me out. Right, right, right. Let's see what else we could find. I know some things around here. Some clues. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. Funding, perhaps. Funding. Yeah, that's where the chest was. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Hmm. Okay. Flash the cash. Right, seek out the needle. Look for the stalls draped with black cloth. Nice. See what we can find. Be here somewhere. Okay, this. Cupcake market. Ah, Flash some silver to the merchants that should get their attention. Okay, there, there's this. Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure, but the needle is calling for more protection. Meet me here at nightfall. We will go see him together. <laughs> Guy has a key. Can I steal from him. Oh wait a minute. There's a there's a merchant. Where to? Saw nothing. Nice right, do this. Hi friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm making to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around. You'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks. Okay, I don't know if that works. One by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. With pleasure. Uh, I did see someone over there. He looks shifty. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver path through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. I think he's trying to get my attention. Did I hear you 
talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. Okay. This hideout is near statue east of the market. Tell me to open the map. I think I saw a statue while Sinan was in the air. Cast about this lad, my friend. There. That's it. That's where we need to go. Oh, sorry, fellas. Right. Uh, right, right, right. Right, statue. Empty carts and a black cloth marking the house. This is the place. It is. Hmm, locked. Ah. Good thing I stole that key earlier. The rat's needle. Fitting. Ah, he's underground. Cool. Let's go. Let's go get him. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Gotta be careful here. Most there must be another way in. Got some guards around here. Oh. Let's go. Underneath. Make sure there's nothing to pick up. And already I think we're closing in. We're closing in. I must be careful now. Yep. Sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? Is it some form of blacksmith? All this silverware. Some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? Interesting. Oh, what he's doing. Gotta get that key then. Oh, please, don't do this. I promise. I promise you your silver next week. Please, don't do this. It's a misunderstanding, that's all. I'll pay. You had your chance. Oh. What's happening here? They're melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? Or would you prefer another thrashing? Right. <laughs> going on here? What are they doing with all these people? Guess I've got to unlock that gate. Oh, there's two guards here. Oh, there is. I just... <laughs> Literally right next to each other. That is somewhat annoying. Um, it's over here then. And there is a clue. Right, I'll go there in a minute. I've got to uh, do some more exploring. Let me, uh, let's see here. Let's just take out this guy if we can. Here we can. Guarding the door. 
Oh, hang on. So this then. Wasn't expecting to appear here. I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle? Or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up. Torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand who can thread the needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Oh, here they come. Men are going to stop me. I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! This will be quick, I assure you. Oh! I tell you what, let's get some poison in it! Yes, that's it. Take that, pooch. Right, confront the needle at Coppergate Market. Let's open this. Uh, can I get up here? I can. I can. Make sure there's no... Oh! Just sneak past here. I think I saw some opal earlier. I've got to get that. That oh, was not good. He's going to burn. He's going to burn. Look at him. Easy. You're next. Boom. Not oh, too bad, not too bad. Is that another guard? Never mind. Never mind. I saw something. Relax, everyone. I'm not here to hurt you. Oh, it's just silver. Could have been opal, something like that. Right, let's confront the needle. Let's get him. Damned background. Same through my fingers. I'll finish this in Coppergate Market. Yeah, let's get him there. Watch yourself. Don't want to hurt you. I missed. Where are you, Needle? Where are you? Oh, oh. I must say, these are conveniently placed. Come, come. Walk with me. It is good to walk. Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, I, I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. 
It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh dear. Oh dear God. Merchants of Jorvik. Oh no. I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson. Should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation? Best not to draw attention here. Oh, we gotta get him. We gotta get him. Assassinate the needle. I sure as hell will. Alright. Where are you? Shouldn't be too difficult. Easy. Child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by her sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for, me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand. Showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the bolt, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you've gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. Mm. Indeed. Good. Good. Didn't like him. Did not like him one bit. Oh! oh. Run! Run! Get out! Tricking the needle. Come free. Let's check out this order menu real quick. So where was the needle? There. So one more to go. Hmm. And they will lead us to the big fish, the vice. Okay, okay. Right. So, yeah, return to Lufina. Can do. Lufina must be in the Royal Hall. Let's go speak to Lufina, shall we? What do you got for me? What news do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle. Sold off the wares he seized to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The council seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast, but I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. Someone close might be betraying him. A 
valuable seal and a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rizier, Falavith, Odin, and... You're the four members of the council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the archives. To the archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. You look pretty strong. I might speak to you later. Okay, Jorvik. What will you be hiding? <laughs> right, let us explore. Ah, well, okay. I have seen these weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Halfdan's army. Could be why Fadavid is pressing the council for more silver. She made me jump there. I thought that was someone else coming through the door. Um, let's see what we got around here. A letter. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. Hmm, to the silversmith. The needle. Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? Underground passage. Hmm. A hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. Just guess we'll continue searching. Um, wait a second. There's something behind that. Aha! There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? It looks that way. It is not him, not Mayor. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hyor. Right now, we need to get to the Yuletide Feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm sure it's not him. <laughs> Let's hope not anyway, for her sake. Reach the Yuletide Feast. It's not too far away. Is it invitation only, or...? I'll soon find out. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Everyone's friendly. Everyone's friendly. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even okay. pure. Okay. Even pure. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Okay. The suspects are part of the Jorvik camps. Members. Speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Okay. Let's, let's us investigate. Baravid. A word, if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. 
I may be courted, but I'm selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ha! <laughs> if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. Okay. Avoiding the wine. You are the main suspect so far. What about you? Alden, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it. I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin. And these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. Ooh. He has indeed. The high Interesting. Has a Interesting. Head if it keeps this up. I got two suspects now. This is good. <laughs> Pure. Who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? <laughs> Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I'll have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Bob. Of course. Well, all three of them are avoiding the wine. This is not good. Or trying to, anyway. Um... Reaching. Ah, yeah. Come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. Right. Okay. I th think it's Alden. That's my guess. I don't think it's this guy. I don't think it's Hua. I think it's Alden. He was quick to uh, deny my uh, request for a drink. Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? No. Um not yet. I will return shortly with my decision. I'm not sure. I do think it's Alden. I wish there was some way to be sure though. Yeah, actually yeah. Wasn't he with um I best earlier. Must be Auden. Must be Auden. I'm gonna go for we need Auden. To find the vault. Have you any idea who it is? Let's go for it. I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Auden was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Ingiborg collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Mm. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords, 
Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today, we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. I'll donate the vote. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. I was right. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle all of them. Go. I knew it. I knew it. Let's get him. Let's get him. Save these friends. They will be your last. There is no escape. No future for people like you. Let's get him. Let's get him. Get out of my way, you. Let's get you, Gordon. I'm after you. I'm coming for you. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Get back here, get back here. Where do you think you're going? Easy. Confirming kill. There we go. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Good question. Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many suns. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Okay, well, we are. Oh, run, run, let's go. Oh, yeah. It's around here somewhere. Show me what lies ahead. Must be at that bar. Potentially. Hello, hello. Oh, what's happened? Are you all right? We're fine. Faravild and his cars escorted King Rishi back to the royal hall. Everyone is safe. Let's good, good, good. Lead the way, lead the way. I have a feeling we're going to get ambushed. So far, so good. Out the way. Alden, that sniveling little shit. I quite agree. 
and I'll kill him. Hello. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Alden aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Haft and Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. Ah. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Oh. I tell you what, because that... I remember that merchant got stabbed to death by uh, the needle, so I think we've got to give it to the merchants. Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. They were. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Jor distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. There we, we go. Have a saying in Vyarmia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harold all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now, and the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. Excellent. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Hjor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind. So I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. Good answer. Sneak. Out a boy. Before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world or the next. Drop by your rick again. Please join. Oh, sorry, you I know of a place down the street. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that to you. <laughs> now, now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Let's tell her the good news. Let's go, let's go. Oh! I'll do that in a minute. Oh, I've got some medallions to return. That'd be good. I wonder what you'll give me. Not rubbish. I intended to use it. Please, calm down. Oh, there's a dispute going on here. I don't know what that's all about. Oh. Randvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid. With Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you sit in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Hey. Once more. Very well. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. 
You will yep. state your cases, and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. All right. Goodwin. Go, Goodwin. You may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Mm-hmm. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sale with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Okay. Okay. Seems reasonable, but uh, we'll hear both sides. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago... I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. Huh. Does she make the same argument? You may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. I scout no. passing Hulk lies and sl Holger now. I thought be saying something different. Only... So Holger That is right. Alright, hmm. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Holger has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. I mean, it is... It is... Good ones in the first place, so... If Holger asked Goodwin in the first place... Yeah, I'm going to side with Goodwin. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Uh -oh. Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I was... Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief. Robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that, that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Uh... Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh... Oh, what am I gonna do? Sigurd's already mad with me. 
I've got a, I've, I've got a, I've got to disagree. I, I think, I think it's unfair. Oh man, this is going to be so awkward. Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair. Oh no, no, you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your yard, the source of all right and wrong, the lord of justice in this place. Without rank, without order, without a chain of command, life cannot endure. Chaos will reign. Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when you hold your tongue, Eivor? Nor defer to those wiser than yourself. My judgment stands. Thirty times the sailcloth's value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> dear, oh dear. This is not good. Oh dear. I feel kind of bad for Holger. <laughs> I better not do it. <laughs> oh, oh. Greetings. That is not good. I wonder if we should have a word. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. See good. Leave me be. Oh, if okay. You <laughs> I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. Yeah. I purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik, the Lufina, and Hjor's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. Ah. But still, it's a result. Oh. Our territory is growing. We've got more allies. Right. On to the next one.